Hey, this is Kim from Ocean Valley Yoga. We are going to do a 40 minute gentle class today. Grab whatever you think you will need to make yourselves comfortable. Blanket if your knees are troublesome, a block if you have one. If not, don't worry about it. Put on some comfy clothes, maybe put on your favorite tunes and we'll get started. We're going to start lying down so you can go ahead and get yourselves comfortable. Starting with a meditation, just a short one, just enough to get us settled and connected with our breath. Take a full deep breath in through your nose, a slow exhale out your mouth. And then another full deep breath in through your nose. And a slow exhale out your mouth. We'll continue to breathe in and out through our noses if possible. And just feeling your chest rise and fall. Feeling your ribs expand and contract. And feeling your belly rise and lower. Following one breath from the moment it starts to the moment it finishes. And just being completely present in this moment. We'll take five more full deep breaths like this. And on your next inhale, go ahead and reach your arms up and over your head. Take a big stretch, reaching your fingers, reaching your toes, exhaling right there. And then again, a big stretch, reaching fingers, reaching toes, and exhale right there. We're going to come right into banana. So moving your legs over to the right side of your mat keeping both hips down on the floor moving your shoulders over to the right side of your mat as well as your arms keeping both shoulder blades down and connected to the ground making a half moon or banana shape with your body resting here into your breath If you would like to take this stretch deeper, you can go ahead and cross your left foot over your right. And go ahead and take two more full deep breaths. Uncross your legs if they're crossed. Walking your hands back to center. Walking your legs back to center. Reaching fingers, reaching toes for a big stretch. Exhale right there and we'll move to the other side. Walking your feet over to the left side of your mat. Walking your shoulders and your arms over to the left side. Keeping your hips grounded keeping your shoulders grounded. Take a full deep breath. Exhale. 
And if you'd like to cross your right ankle over your left, go ahead. If that's too intense for you, then don't worry about it. Staying with your breath here, do one more. And exhale, uncross your legs, walking them back to center, walking your arms back to center, reaching your fingers, reaching your toes. And exhale, release your hands back by your sides, pull your knees up and into your chest. Gently rocking side to side. Maybe rocking in little circles. Play around with the distance your knees have from your chest. Play around with the distance your knees have with each other. And just see what feels good on your low back. Move in whatever way works for you. Use the ground to massage the muscles that run up and down your back. Take one more breath here. And then we'll pull the knees in nice and tight. And exhale, release. Taking the legs straight up towards the sky. Taking your hands and grabbing back behind your legs and just pulling your straight legs gently in towards your body. Take a full deep breath. On the exhale, just grab hold of the right leg and slowly let the left leg come down. So you can do this with a bent leg or a straight leg. That choice is yours. You want to pull the belly button down towards the floor to engage your abdominal muscles. Once that leg is down, walk your hands up your leg and then begin to gently pull that leg a little closer in. Just nice, gentle stretch here. You don't want to overdo it. And we're going to begin to point and flex this foot. And you can take the ankle into rotations, changing direction of that rotation. Coming back to center, pointing the toes back up to the sky. On your next inhale, we're going to peel our head and shoulders up off the floor, walking our hands up a little higher. Take a full deep breath. Exhale and slowly lower back. Lowering your right leg now down to the floor, either straight leg or bent, your choice. Pulling the belly button down towards the, the ground. And then on the next inhale, we're going to bring that left leg up, straighten it out, grab hold behind the leg, begin to point and flex this foot. Taking ankle in rotations. Change direction. Coming back to center, pointing the toes back up to the sky. Take a full deep breath. And begin to walk your hands up your leg. Take another breath here. And exhale, slowly make your way down and lowering the leg down, either straight or bent, pulling the belly button down towards your spine. Once it's down, go ahead and pull both knees back up, feet flat on the floor. Let your knees knock in the center as you inch your feet out to the edges of your mat. Take a breath here. And slowly exhale it out. We're now going to take this left leg and let it fall out to the left as the right leg falls to the middle, keeping the feet nice and spread apart. We'll come back to center. 
Now we'll let the right leg fall out to the right, the left leg fall to the center. And then just continue to move from side to side. Nice and slow, gentle movements. This will be our last one. And then we'll come back up to center, heel toe your feet back together and back in towards your chest. Go ahead and roll onto your right side. Use your hands to push yourselves up to seated. So we're going to outstretch our legs on our mat. Go ahead and point your toes. On the inhale, lifting your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, we're gonna reach forward and come into a fold. So you can just let your whole upper body just melt over your legs. Let your head relax and find your breath here. One more full deep breath. Exhale it out. Rise back up, reaching your arms straight up towards the sky. Now lift the toes up towards the sky. So flexing the feet, take another full breath. Exhale and we fold again. Letting the head relax back down. Take a full deep breath and slowly exhale. And do two more deep breaths. On your next inhale, slowly rise back up reaching your arms up towards the sky and exhale, relaxing them down. We're gonna go ahead and bend our right leg, foot flat on the floor, and then I'm gonna inch it out to the side. So just heel toe it back, almost in line with your hip or whatever feels comfortable for you. My left hand is down by my side, just supporting me here. I'm gonna bring my right arm to the inside of my right leg and then I'm gonna to begin to gently push against that knee and take my chest over towards the left. Finding breath here. One more deep inhale. And exhale, release, bringing that knee back to center and then straightening that leg out on the mat. If you'd like to give your legs a little shake, you can. And then we'll try the other leg. So left leg bends, right hand comes next to me to support me, left foot begins to inch its way out to the side Left arm comes to the inside of my knee. I gently push the elbow into my knee as I take my chest to the right, gazing over my right shoulder, breathing deeply here. One more full deep breath. And exhale, gazing back to the front of your mat, helping your foot back if you'd like, heel toeing it back, straightening that leg out, maybe giving the legs another little shake. And then we're gonna take the soles of our feet to touch. 
letting the knees fall out to the side. If this is uncomfortable, you can grab your blocks or your blanket and put it underneath your knees here. Grabbing hold of your ankles or your shins, we're gonna go ahead and lift the heart, roll the shoulders back, take the gaze up, and find our breath. Do one more just like this. On the exhale, round your spine, shrug your shoulders forward, pull your belly button in, gazing down towards your navel. Full deep breath, just like this. Exhale, and then we'll begin to move fluidly, inhaling up, exhaling down. And do three more, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Come back up to a nice straight spine. I'm gonna lift my arms up towards the sky. Make a nice big V, take a full breath. And exhale, relax them right back behind you. So you can do tented fingers or you can bring the palms flat on the floor with your fingertips facing your hips. So play around, see what works best for you. We're gonna lift our heart up here, roll the shoulders back, drop your head and take some deep breaths. Feel your chest rise and fall. Take one more full deep breath. Exhale and begin to make your way forward. So we're gonna walk our hands in front now. So this is gonna mean something different for everybody. You may have a couple inches to spare here and you can lower down a little bit. You may have a lot of space and you may be able to come down further. So everyone's gonna look a little different. So just find your breath here. You can let your head come down. Take one more deep, full breath. Exhale. And slowly come back up. We're going to pull the knees back together. And then we're going to make our way onto hands and knees. So you can swivel your legs over to the side. Coming onto all fours. If your knees are troublesome, now would be a good time to grab that blanket and place it right underneath your knees. Spread your fingers wide, coming into a nice neutral tabletop position. Engage your core. Take a full deep breath. On the exhale, we're going to begin to extend our right leg back up and behind us. So take a full deep breath. Go ahead and point your toes. On the next exhale, we're gonna cross that leg right over our left leg and look back towards our toes. Inhale, back up. Exhale, cross over, look towards your toes. Inhale, and exhale. Do two more. Inhale, and exhale. Last one. Inhale, and exhale. Now we're gonna hold here, looking back towards those toes, feeling the nice stretch down the right side of your body. If you wanna take this a little further, instead of having the toes touch the floor, just lift them up an inch, then you're exerting just a little bit more energy. Take another breath. And then we'll come right back to center and drop that knee down. Drop your belly into cow pose, raise your gaze. So your belly drops, your heart lifts, your tailbone lifts. On the exhale, round your spine, gaze toward your navel. And then we're gonna push right down into child's pose. 
Letting your forehead come towards the mat. On your next inhale, rise back up, cow. Exhale, round your spine, cat, and push back to child's. We'll come back up to a neutral tabletop position to do the other side. Inhale, extend your left leg back behind you. And then go ahead and point those toes. Take a full breath, engage your core, and exhale. Cross that leg right over your right leg. Look back towards your toes. Inhale, up. Exhale, cross. Inhale, back up. Exhale, cross over. And inhale, back up. Let's do two more. Cross. Look back. Rise back up, last one, cross. We'll hold here, you can either let the toes come down or they can hover up over the floor. Find your breath. Feel the compression that's happening on the right side by your hip and feel the stretch that's happening on the left. Take another deep breath. Coming back to center, drop that knee down Drop your belly into cow, raise your gaze. Exhale, round your spine, push back to child's. Inhale, rise back up, cow. Exhale, round your spine, push back to child's. We're going to come into embryo. Let your hands come by your sides, palms face up. Let your shoulders shrug forward and take a full deep breath. Exhale. And then we're just going to begin to rock side to side here. You can even let your forehead rock side to side on the mat. It feels kind of nice. Slowly coming back to center. Reaching your arms back out in front. Coming up. We're going to curl our toes under and come into a down dog. Spread your fingers wide. Make sure your feet are hip width distance apart as you begin to push your hips up. You can keep the knees bent if you'd like, or you can begin to pedal out your heels. Just look back towards your feet as you're doing so. And then press both heels down towards the floor. Take a full breath. Exhale. On your next inhale, you're going to walk your feet up to your hands. If that's not good for you, walk your hands back to your feet. Once you come into a forward fold, grab hold of opposite elbows. Let your head relax. And find your breath here. One more deep breath. Exhale, release your hands. Make sure you have a little bend in your knees here. Go ahead and round your spine, bend into your knees even more. Coming all the way up to stand, arms come out to the sides, palms touch overhead. And exhale, hands back by your sides. So make your way up to the top of your mat, if you're not there already. We're going to come into warrior one pose. So let's go ahead and inhale our arms up. Exhale, bring them down to your heart. Bend a little into your knees and step your right leg back behind you. You're going to drop it down on a 45 degree angle. And you want to make sure that you're not on a balanced beam. So separate your feet just a little. And if you are feeling a little wonky, just go ahead and step your foot out closer to the edge of your mat a little bit more. So once you find some balance here, square your shoulders to the front of your mat, pull your lower belly in a tad, begin to lift your arms, gazing up towards the sky, bending deeper into your left knee, and finding your breath. One more full deep inhale here. Exhale it out and we're going to open up our arms out to the sides with our palms facing up. 
lifting our heart a little bit higher. On the exhale, we're just going to round our shoulders, shrug them forward, flip our palms. So just a nice variation to our warrior one. Inhale and lift your heart. Exhale, flip your palms, shrug your shoulders. Inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, coming forward. Let's do two more. Last one. And then we'll take our arms all the way back up. Exhale, hands down to your heart and step forward. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale. Arms come down all the way back up on an inhale. Palms come down to your heart. Bend a little into your knees. Step your left leg back behind you. Drop the heel down on a 45. Get your balance here. Bend into your front knee, lifting your arms up. Full deep breath. On your next exhale, open the arms up, palms face up, lift your heart, and exhale. Shrug the shoulders forward, gazing down. Inhale, back up, and exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's do two more. Last one. Exhale down, inhale, take the arms all the way back up, palms connect, exhale down to your heart, and step forward. Take a nice deep breath. And exhale. So we're going to come into a balance pose. We'll go ahead and do tree. So taking the right foot, coming up onto the toes, and taking the knee out to the side. We're going to press the sole of the foot to the inside of your ankle or up onto your calf. Find your breath here. If your balance is good and you would like to lift the arms, feel free. If you need a chair or if you need to go up against the wall, go ahead and do that. We'll hold for three more breaths. And then we'll slowly release our hands back down to our heart and release our leg, giving a little shake and then a good spin. Spins are nice reset buttons. They also feel really good. Okay, and then we'll come back to hands back to our hearts. Left toes come up. Take the knee out to the side. Bring the sole of your foot onto your ankle or up onto your calf. When your balance is good, you can go ahead and lift. Finding your breath here. Keeping your eyes steady on one point always helps with your balance. Last breath. And exhale, hands return down to your heart. Take your leg down, give a little shake, and then a spin. And then we're going to make our way back to the top of our mat. Hands by our sides. Inhale, sweep our arms all the way up. Exhale and fold. So you want to pull your belly button up towards your spine. Engage your legs as you fold. That's going to help take some pressure off of your low back. Let your head relax. Inhale, coming up to a flat spine. Exhale, we're going to step our feet back, coming into our plank. Now we're going to come into a forearm plank, so you're going to drop down onto your forearms. 
If this is too much for you, drop down onto your knees. Interlace your fingers and move your feet together. We're going to hold for three. It's one, two, and three. Knees drop down, uncurl your toes, lower down onto your bellies, and rest one cheek on the mat. Take a full breath. Exhale. Bring your hands by your sides, palms face up. Take your nose towards your mat. On the inhale, we're going to lift our heart. Exhale and lower. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale and lower. One more. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale and lower the opposite cheek down towards the mat. Take a nice deep breath. And exhale. Bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Push up into tabletop. And then we're going to swivel our legs around to come to seated. Go ahead and lie back down on your mat. Give your legs just a little side to side. And then we're going to come into figure four legs. So take your right ankle on top of your left knee. Push that right knee away from you. Go ahead and pull your left leg in towards your body. Flex your toes. Take your right hand and weave it right through that hole. Interlace your fingers behind your thigh. Pull your legs in tight. You can also interlace on top of your shin. And finding your breath. One more full deep inhale. And slowly releasing that foot back down to the mat. Hands by your sides and again a little rock. Side to side, keeping your ankle on your knee. Come back to center and we'll do the other side. Take the right foot down, left ankle comes up onto the knee. Left hand pushes your knee away, flex your toes up towards the sky. Interlacing your fingers behind your thigh or on top of your shin. Taking some full deep breaths. And try to just completely settle in to this pose. Just beginning to allow your body to relax. Take one more full deep breath. Exhale, release that right leg back down to the floor and just begin to rock your legs from side to side. Coming back to center, releasing that leg and bringing both feet back down onto the floor. Take a nice full breath. And exhale. So we're going to lift our legs up towards the sky. Go ahead and take your hands, grab hold of the backs of your legs. Try to keep your legs straight. And you can bring your legs in towards your body just a tad. We're going to hold here. Alternatively, what you could do is grab hold of a block. Placing that block underneath your tailbone and taking your legs up towards the sky here. Gently pulling your legs in towards your body. 
So if you do have a block, you can go ahead and give that a try. If you don't, you can use a book or you can just omit it. And stay for three more breaths. And then we'll slowly begin to make our way back out. If you are using a block, you can take it out from underneath. Bring your knees back in towards your chest, rocking side to side. And we're going to come right into final relaxation. So you can extend your legs. Cover up if you're cold. Make yourselves as comfortable as you can be. Palms face up towards the sky. Full deep breath in through your nose and exhale out your mouth. Letting it all go, letting your bodies completely melt here. If you have lots of time to stay in your Shavasana or final relaxation, definitely feel free to do so. And when you are ready to make your way out, we're going to take our arms up and overhead. Big stretch. Exhale, relax right there. Take another deep breath. And exhale. Bring your hands by your sides, pull your knees in towards your chest, and gently rock side to side. And go ahead and roll over onto your right side, curling up into a little ball, taking another deep breath. Exhale. And on your next inhale, begin to slowly push yourselves up to seated. Coming to any comfortable seated position that works for you. You can keep your eyes closed, keeping your gaze low. And bring your hands to your hearts. And just take a couple of nice deep breaths here. a moment to send out some gratitude to those in your lives you're thankful for. Taking a moment to send out some peace and love and well-being to those who need it. Take a full deep breath. Exhale. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really appreciate all of your support. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel so that you get a notification when we have new videos coming out usually about once a week. And thank you again. Peace.